Sagittarius, this is your last reading for 2020, your detailed reading for December 2020. Um, going into next year, I'm changing things up a little bit. You will still get your mini readings, either fortnightly or once a month, depending on time constraints. Um, and I'm going to be putting more focus into... Uh, the yes and no's, relationship readings, career path readings, um, and I'm doing some new style of readings um, starting very, very soon. Um, I may bring this style back. Um, depends. If you'd like me to keep doing your reading, um, just place it in the comments and I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you will still get your mini readings and other styles of readings. So this is last one for Sagittarius. Let's have a go. Uh, this is your past or your problem area, the current energies and situation in December and possible outcome, especially this one down here. This will be your outcome for and information for moving forward. So let's get to it. Good luck. Five of Pentacles reverse, Ace of Pentacles reversed, Ace of Cups upright. Okay, so in your problem area, it's like where you've been feeling left out in the cold, possibly in a work situation. It may be an extended family situation. It may even be that you're at a distance from somebody. Um, you feel like you don't know where to commit to because we have Ace of Pentacles upside down. Ace of Pentacles is trying to make a new start, but you just either just don't feel mentally up to it. Um, or you make a new start but then you wake up the next day and think no um, I feel for some of you you're stuck somewhere in the past either with work or finances I don't feel it's much to do with romance in this section up here um, down here it's showing me ace of cups so double ace on the table tells me that there's someone in spirit trying to come through there may be something to do with their head or heart before they passed um, they're sending you love from the other side and this might explain this it's almost like a depression thing I'm feeling here because when you have two aces and they're one upside down one the other way it's in two minds so it's almost like a depression and anxiety or even something like bipolar or something like that um, you might actually be dealing with someone like that uh, and it's very stressful but it's got something to do with your financial situation and your work situation. I, I feel like for some of you, you've been putting on a happy face, but inside you don't feel right. So let's just get more information on that. Uh, for some of you too, I feel like you might be disappointed with work or with where work's going. Um, it's there, the work is there, the money is there, but it's, it's almost like, I just don't want it, I don't want to do it, or something like that. I just feel this hesitation or two minds about something. So let's have a look for Sagittarius. Okay, we've got a family here. Queen of Clubs, King of Clubs, Jack of Clubs. Now for some of you, this can be, if it's matters of the hearts and a relationship, it's an older man, a younger man, and then a woman. So it could simply be about a third party situation but I'm not really picking up on that I'm thinking it's more to do with husband wife and child or mother father brother sister a family type thing here so maybe it's a family business um, I feel like you might be the head of the family you might be the one that runs the show but because you're not in the right sort of mental feeling right now um, things are just somebody else is trying to step in and run everything um, if this is a family business and everything you're sort of in two minds about which way it needs to go someone's thinking with their heart and someone's thinking with their head of what to do so let's just get more information about all of this now being that it is festive season this could simply mean the family all coming together um, and as I said, there's someone in spirit trying to come through, something to do with their head or their heart before they passed. Um, and so it might be a bit sad, 
we have another family member here. We have another child on the table. We have something about wanting to travel, wanting to go somewhere, wanting to escape. I'm feeling like you want to escape. You want to just go. Yeah, again, you want to go on a journey, but it's upside down. You've got page of wands upside down. You've got three of wands upside down. Now, for some of you, not all, this could be a third party situation, as I said, and these are very sexual energy cards that are on the table. But if it is a third party thing, I think it's you or the person doesn't want it anymore. It's like it's, it's just not working out. It's not going anywhere. Because sitting in your problem area is wanting your heart to overflow with love and happiness and stability. And it's, it's just sitting in the past or the problem area. So maybe it used to be really nice um, and now it's just getting very complicated. Even your wish card is upside down. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is showing me that you've got all these dreams and wishes but you're just not, not following what it is you want to do. I feel like you might be governed by somebody else's behavior or somebody else's thoughts or their wishes it's almost like if this is you and you're a married couple and you've got kids and responsibilities and it's almost like you want to take off hop on a plane go on a journey or something but you can't the other person doesn't want to you might want to go to Greece and they want to go to Spain um, it's like you're doing the wishes of somebody else but not what you want also, I feel like somebody might be telling you this is how it's got to go. You've got um, earth signs on the table as well. Ah, now this is good. This is where you're structuring things and moving forward into the future of the way you want things to be. It's a lot of hard work ahead and there's a lot of paperwork to be sorted. Now, I feel for some of you, you might be selling a family home. Um, if there is someone in spirit, they might have only passed recently, this year, um, middle of the year or something, and you're trying to set out, sort out the whole family and it's like it's all on your shoulders. Um, and of course, you're just wishing that the person was back here and that they weren't gone. But I feel like there's a division of property here and movement and sale. Um, a lot of work. A lot of work for your wishes to come through. It's sort of like, I didn't wish for this. I didn't wish for this to happen. Um, it's sort of like you've been landed with things. Um, but just be careful with paperwork. This is showing me that there's stuff that has to be sorted. Now, this is where your power's coming back. We've got the Queen of Wands sitting upright. We've got the Sun. Yay! Look at this, Sagittarius. Happiness is assured. Be careful of the liar. We have the Knight of Sword rushing in. Now, it can be someone being very impulsive or telling you what to do. Um, there's some sort of liar in amongst this. Um, the sun's about to come out. Truth's about to be revealed. And this is where happiness is coming back. Now, I'm just going to do yours a different way to everybody else's just to give you more information. Yeah, there is definitely someone wanting to rush in and communicate in not such a nice way. Someone wants to pick a fight. Someone wants to tell you, this is how it is, this is how I want it. Now, for those of you, if there is a third party situation, this would be internet, telephone, this would be someone constantly communicating with each other in the wrong way. Um, I feel like that's about to come to an end. Um, these eights are telling me that someone's making a decision and it's coming to an end. It might even be an explosion between these people. There might be some sort of explosion. We have two women, and it's almost like they're sharing the one home, but they're opposite women. We have one that's possibly divorced, widowed, alone. Um, she's had a lot of sorrow and pain in her life. She's that way, she's looking that way towards the future. Then we got this other one who's bubbly and fun and um, it's like she's got it all. She's sitting right next to her husband over here. She's looking at the past. Uh, there's a lesson between the two of them. If they were looking at each other, they're working on a project together, they're good friends. When they're like this, they might not even know about each other. Or if they do, there's something holding them two together. They're both holding on to something. Um, then we have her showing up, sitting right underneath her. 
So I do feel for some of you, this is third party. There's two women, one man. Um, there's kids involved. Uh, I feel like this internet chatter thing or emails or whatever this is, phone calls. Uh, if this is you, don't be impulsive. Don't rush in and try and do something because you could end up doing the wrong thing here. So what I'm going to do now is read them. I'll just get you some... Lenormand first. We'll just put some Lenormand, get more messages. So you have finding your direction has been a struggle, finding which way to go. Something's very, very annoying during December. Um, you feel like someone's annoying the crap out of you here. You want to set sail and do something different. Get on that plane, get on that boat, uh, go traveling, spend time with family and friends and have a good time. So for some of you, you're finally going to set sail. Over here, I said you feel like taking off, but you're restricted. It may be a health issue as well. This could represent health and medication as well for some of you. Um, for some of you to do with work, it's like you're working so hard to turn $4 into $7 and you're just working so hard to get this. Um, and you're getting frustrated with it. You need a break. This is telling me you need a break. So yeah, breaking free from a situation. And let's just get this before I read them. Your message here is you're not being who you really are. This is living in the shadow of who you are. You might be a vibrant, beautiful person who wants to get out and about and you make everybody else feel better. But meanwhile, there's something inside of you. Like I said right at the beginning, your thoughts are, I just want to and I don't want to. You're, you're in, you're out. You, you want to, you don't want to. You want commitment. If these were both upright, this is a new beginning, commitment, love, even possible marriage. But one's upside down. So the commitment thing is not working out right. It's maybe I just feel like you're sick of putting the effort in and not getting enough in return. Um, but those of you with a medical type issue, it does show it coming from a 10 to an 8. But it's medication or procedure or whatever this is over here therapy or whatever it is it might be time to change that up it doesn't look like it's working properly so let's just read them before i close this across the top as i said we've got two females holding on to the one situation now this could be a job it could be two females that just don't work close in hand with each other anymore it's not working they're, they're back to back um, there's some sort of lesson being learned between the two of them, but they're also holding on to either a person or a job or a situation. Um, we also have this feeling left out, wanting to run, um, and then wanting to have fun. Now, we also have the changes for the financial future. This can be a new job, but there's something there that doesn't work properly. There's some sort of something that's a little bit frustrating there. And then we have the lack of commitment, wanting to go, wanting to make a choice but not sure. You're scared to make this choice. You're scared to leave this job, leave this person, stop this situation. It's like you're holding on to it thinking it's going to turn around, but it will turn around. Um, if you do let it go, it's showing me that the sun will come out and happiness will come back. Um, not necessarily if you let it go, you might hold on to it. Now, in your future, it's showing wishes. Are you careful what you wish for? Are you wishing for the right thing? Because for your heart to be content, are you wishing for the right thing? And don't be impulsive. Don't be impulsive to make rash decisions or go and communicate with someone because you've got the communication card here and it might be... It's almost like you need to talk to someone. You want to sit down and talk. Now that can be the police officer, the security guard, the military man. Um, and then we got the businesswoman. And we also had like all business cards, chatty business, um, all that sort of thing. You might be a chatted box yourself. Um, and lastly, this is a lot of damn hard work. This is where you want to go on a new adventure. You want to travel. Um, it could be some sort of restriction with health matters as well. Or it could be someone's at a distance and it's getting very, very frustrating. 
that you haven't got your hands on this person. Anyway, that's what I have for Sagittarius. I think you're going to make some firm decisions going into 2021 because it looks like you've been in two minds about something. Um, and for some of you, I just heard the word breadcrumbing. So I feel that some of you might be getting breadcrumbed from a man or a woman out there and you're sick of the breadcrumbs. You want the whole kit and caboodle. Um, you do have some good things coming, but it looks like you've got some choices to make as well. So that's all I have for Sag Sagittarius. Happy festive season wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you enjoy yourself and um, I'll catch you in 2021.